All right, so this is an answer to Jamie's question. Now, Jamie asked, what should she do if she's introducing the next person and that person is actually doing the conclusion to the presentation? This is actually really simple, Jamie. All you have to do is tell the audience what that person is doing specifically. So in this case, what you could say is, now it's time for the conclusion and let me bring up Jamie. So that is a really easy way to just say, hey, Jamie's gonna do the conclusion. You could also say, it's now time for the conclusion and for that, I'd like to bring up Jamie. Very, very easy. The other way you could say that is that you could say directly to Jamie, you could say, Jamie to Jamie. You could say, Jamie, would you like to do the conclusion now, please? So there are three really easy ways for you to introduce the person who's gonna do the conclusion to your presentation. Yes, it's kind of important. Yes, it's also kind of simple, but it's something you need to know how to do. So hopefully that helps you, Jamie, to introduce the next person when they have to do the conclusion. And hopefully it helps everyone else that needs to know how to do this as well. If you have any questions or comments about that, please let me know in the comment section below, and also be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, talk to you later, bye-bye.